Hey everybody, Lisa Roberry here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about what I have been warming. So I've got my basket here. I actually think I need a bigger basket because I'm starting to get through quite a bit of wax. So um, I have definitely been in the mood for breaking out some of my bring back my bars. So I'm excited to share with you. Um, we are halfway through our Bring Back My Bar month, which is crazy. So if you've had a chance to pick up some of the Bring Back My Bars, let me know what you picked up and what you have been enjoying. I've been enjoying some things from previous Bring Back My Bars, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, one of my favorites <laughs> is Huckleberry Sage. I love this. It's so, so nice. I was so sad when they retired it, but it did come back pretty quickly after it retired to bring back my bar. I am kind of bummed that it didn't come back this go around, but I just love this. This is the perfect like after the holidays, but before springtime scent because it is sweet, but it's not like a springy scent. It's not really fruity. It really is like this fresh, I don't really know what huckleberries smell like, but it is like a fresh wintry berry type of a scent. And I love this. So I actually finished up a bar of this and this, this just, <clears throat> excuse me, satisfies my craving of wanting something a little bit lighter, but not really like fruity or floral, like right after the hol holidays when you're done with the like heavy spicy scents. Um, I just find that this is kind of perfect. So I went through a bar of huckleberry sage, I do have a few backups of that, so I'm good. <laughs> um, I also broke out another previous Bring Back My Bar scent, which is Flutter. And this actually is more of a springy type of a scent, but I was ready for that. I didn't go through the entire bar, but I did go through a few cubes. And I love this. <clears throat> this to me smells like an orange dreamsicle. It's, but without like that artificial, like orange sweet scent to it it's just like orange and vanilla to me and so this is another nice scent that I decided to break out because I'm done with the like heavy bakery type scents so um flutter was great for that next I broke out this was a limited edition scent from this past summer since he surprised us with some surprise fragrances um they actually brought a couple of scents that had been retired back and then they brought this bad boy out which is coastal strawberry i only had a few cubes of this so i decided to just go ahead and be done with it <clears throat> i do have some um uh, a couple more bars of coastal strawberry still so i'm happy that i have that because i will definitely be breaking this out during this uh spring months and this is just a really nice and i'm not I'm not a strawberry scent type of a girl usually. I tend to find that most strawberry scents are too, they have that like artificial sweet scent and that it's just too sweet for me. But this is like a strawberry perfume with like a very, like you almost smell that like strawberry vine note in there. It's almost like you get this like green note along with it, but it's really, really nice. So. I picked up a crap ton of these because I love this scent and I know I'm going to love this during the spring and summer months. So um, I'm glad that I broke that out. So it was delightful. Uh, what do you know? Another bring back my bar. <laughs> I don't think I was like completely intentionally doing that, but <clears throat> this is once again, not from this go around, but uh, lavender va vanilla was from the this last year and I actually had to warm this at work my husband hates this scent <laughs> it's nice and it is it's just lavender and vanilla I find it to be very relaxing but my husband thinks it smells like baby powder and there's nothing wrong with that but he just he hates this scent so <laughs> I couldn't I'm not gonna do that to him so um I took it to work. So this was actually really nice. And uh, for those of you who are a little newer to my channel, I do work in a dental office full time. So having this going in the dental office, I found was completely appropriate because it can kind of relax people. So it, this was a really nice one. And we did get a, quite a few comments on this, just saying how nice it smelled in, in the office. So and it is, it's just lavender and vanilla. And I find it to be very relaxing. I'm just kind of bummed that I can't warm it at the house. So that's lavender and vanilla. 
Next, I broke out, gosh, I feel bad. I feel like there's only, there are only <clears throat> two of these that are actually still available to order. So sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> Simply Vanilla. I have a huge stash of this because they, <clears throat> since he retired this, and it makes me so sad, but I, I have quite a few bars for backups because this is amazing. Simply Vanilla is perfect. It is a really nice perfumey vanilla rather than like a bakery type of vanilla of a vanilla um it's just it's beautiful it's feminine it's like i said it's it's like i can't explain it any other way than just like a perfumey vanilla rather than that like how vanilla bean buttercream really does smell like a rich buttercream scent or like sugar cookie which is definitely obviously a sugar cookie so it's it's that bakery note this does not have a bakery note to it it's just a perfumey vanilla oh i love it <clears throat> and like i said i have quite a few backups of this so i'm happy because I love the scent. So I went through one of those. And next I went through a happy birthday. So another bring back my bar. I love it when Sensi brings happy birthday back because I have to say, I think of all time, this would have to be my top like three favorite scents. Oh, it's so good. It just smells like amazing funfetti cake. It is so good. It is rich, it is cakey, it is vanilla, it is amazing. <laughs> I love this scent and it was my mom's birthday on January 2nd and she came and stayed with me for a little while and so to celebrate her, <laughs> I broke out one of my happy birthday bars and we enjoyed that while she was uh, staying with me. So this was amazing. So I love this scent. Ah, what's not to love about Funfetti cake, right? Oh, so good. Okay. Now, the two that I have remaining <laughs> are actually available to order. So I, my new love, <laughs> and this is so funny because I was not anticipating loving this scent as much as I actually do. It is a part of the Bring Back My Bar that is currently available only in January. So starting February 1st, the scent will not be available anymore. Peony Petals, who knew? I love this scent. I, and the reason why I say that is because I am not a floral girl. I don't tend to like floral scents. They tend to smell too powdery or just too strong. And so I just, I can't do it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, it's so good. This is such a sweet floral. Oh, it's so good. I love this by itself, but because I only had one bar on hand and spoiler alert, I did order more because, uh, well, I don't ever want to be without this, <laughs> especially during the spring and summer months coming up. Um, Sensi says about this, sorry, I'm looking down. I just want to read the notes to you really quickly. Uh, peony and rose petals dance on a soft breeze. So it sounds pretty simple. And honestly, I am not, I, I can't do rose scents. Rose scents to me just, it's, it's too, it's too much for me. <clears throat> so it's got to be the peony note in this that it's just, it's sweet. It's a sweeter floral scent. I love this by itself, but what I decided to do was actually mix in a sugar cookie cube in with the peony petals. It's so good. It's the same type of idea for those of you who love Bath and Body Works, pink petal tea cake. Oh my gosh. So it is very similar. It's nowhere close to being like a dupe but it's the same kind of idea where you have this like beautiful sweet floral scent and then you just kind of mix in this random like cake or sugar cookie kind of a note to just kind of cut the floral I guess it's hard to explain but it is so incredibly good so I decided to kind of make my peony petals bar last a little bit longer by mixing in a cube of sugar cookie. I really, really loved this, but um, in my warmer next to my bed, I did just, just keep it just strictly peony petals and just alone, it is so good. But if you're someone who it might be a little bit too much floral, which let me tell you, I don't do floral scents. It usually tends to be just too much for me. 
and I love this alone. But if this does tend to be a little bit too much for you, try mixing in a sugar cookie. It is such a beautiful combination. I absolutely, I, I love this. I absolutely love this. So um, I did pick up some more of the peony petals because it's just, it's too good not to. So, all right, there you have it. That is what I have been warming over the last little bit here. If you have picked up some of some of the bring back my bar scents that are available currently let me know what you picked up um more importantly what you've been warming whether it's available whether it's bring back my bar whether it's retired let me know what you have been enjoying i love hearing what um wax you guys have been getting through uh it definitely gives me some ideas on what i might be looking forward to in the upcoming weeks so all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having an amazing start to 2018. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what this year brings. So, all right, you guys, if you are new, please subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping in, and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye, guys.